Team Puglets! Today's video is very interesting because this is something I really wanted to make for a very long, long time. Here's the thing. I have a theory that food is the ultimate truth in life. Also pooping. Because they're related. Think about it. And those of you who know me by now also know that I'm pretty obsessed with both of them. Remember? GPS? Gus. Fuck. Tick us. <laughs> Ooh, there's a lot that happened around that, but that makes for another video and it will come soon. Now that it's established that I love food, I'm gonna make some confessions today. And I hope, I really, really hope that I'll find some behens, my sisters, who will relate with me on this. So let's begin this video, confessions of a girl who loves to eat and break some stereotypes. Shall we? Number one, biryani is bae. कुछ कुछ होता है टीम पब्लिक्स तुम नहीं समझोगे। Before I start speaking about the intense love relationship between me and Biryani, I want to say this and take it out of my system. I have trust issues with people who don't like rice, aka batta, as we call it in Kashmiri, because batta is bay too. When it comes to Biryani, I can out eat any man or woman for that matter. Don't believe me? Try me. It's one of the many talents that I have I'm really proud about. I would eat everything in decent amounts, but when it comes to biryani, I can overeat for eternity. Two chapatis? Good. One plate of pasta? Good. One bowl of soup or salad? Very good. One plate biryani? What is that? What is that? I don't even understand. That's 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 been worse than friend zone. Number two. I earn to eat. Here's the thing, if I had a dollar for every time I chose butter chicken over a little black dress, I would have all the money in the world to buy all the little black dresses with matching accessories and shoes. Uh, but what's the point? They won't fit anyway. Two thirds of all the money that I've earned in my life so far, it's been spent on food. No matter how hard I try, I can never choose between food and basically everything else. I may not know anything about makeup, I may not know anything about dressing up or brands in particular, but I can tell you what is the best place to eat whatever kind of food you want to eat in all those cities I have lived in. I don't know what's a Thai gap, but I can tell you where you can eat the best Thai food in Pune, if that counts. Number three, there's no V in food. I'm pretty sure I'm related to Joey Tribbiani from Friends because I don't like to share my food. Although I'm one of those annoying friends who will share your food. And that's when I go out and I order food. I usually get those weird stares and looks from the waiters and the waitresses which are like, are you going to eat all that by yourself? Or a very subtle remark like, um, excuse me ma'am, uh, this is a portion for two. It's really annoying and awkward, especially if you go out by yourself and eat alone. I know it's a portion for two, but a girl's gotta eat a portion for two. One for herself and the other one for herself too. I need help. Number four, I am against food waste. Also, I'm willing to eat all your leftovers because I think I have the special power of metabolism in me, wherein I do this and there's a void that gets created in my body and I can accommodate more food. What did I just say? RIP biology, in my defense, love is blind. Number five, hashtag food porn. So if you stalk my Instagram, every fourth or fifth post would be about food. It's my most favorite thing to talk about on social media. I have a board dedicated to food on Pinterest. My Facebook has like these hundred saved links, amazing food hacks, recipes, which I'm actually too ambitious to cook or to eat. I can never ignore a post. <laughs> Shh. Do I smell vada pav? This video is over. <laughs> Number six. I cannot be friends with people who hate Chinese food. Because there's nothing in this world that Chinese food cannot solve. Breakups. Chinese room. Broke. Tapri wala Chinese. Hmm. Confused. Hot and sour man. Celebrations. Haka haka. Number seven. Diligaf. I have learned to digest what I eat balance my meal and stay fit. 
but i'm not afraid to eat a good portion of meal in front of people just because i'm a girl and i should eat less because trust me i have seen and observed that myself that there are girls who skip meals and then later hog on junk food there are girls who skip meals to lose weight or there are even girls who pretend to eat less in front of others and later eat a lot by themselves there's nothing wrong in taking care of how you want to look and you should definitely take care of your fitness but don't skip food girls food is life and stop judging other girls who live to eat in number 8 i'm always hungry now i don't know if it's good metabolism or i have kide in my pet as kashmiris call it arm but i don't know why it happens all the time oh i'm so full i can't eat anymore but look at me eat me please okay number 9 be with someone who gives you butterflies in the stomach okay let me rephrase this Remember how you feel when you order that delicious pasta or spaghetti at your favorite Italian restaurant patiently waiting for it staring at the kitchen door getting excited every time a waiter comes out of that door with a plate in his hand and you think it's for you and then it is not but you still wait for it and then when it finally arrives remember that feeling be with someone or marry someone who gives you the same kind I get really pissed off when girls or anybody tells me, "Oh, you're so lucky. Your husband can cook and all." I'm really happy that my husband is a great chef. But I have to address this. He's very passionate about cooking, and I think all of us should be. Men belong in the kitchen. Women belong in the kitchen. Everyone belongs in the kitchen because kitchen has food. And lastly, number 10, I want to say this. If you want to be friends with me or if you want to make me smile or if you want to win me over, there are only three ways you can do it. Number 1, buy me food. Number 2, make me food. Number 3, be food. So that was today's video. I hope you guys liked and enjoyed this video. I think food and love are connected and they bring us together. So keep eating, keep smiling, be happy. Rise and shine until I see you again. Kadoosh. Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Press the bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video on YouTube. Bye. Eat like nobody is watching. Dance like everybody is watching. Thank <laughs> you.